In this example, our goal is to find the 7N equivalent circuit seen by this particular load, by this load uh, right here. So that's our goal. Our goal is to find the 7N equivalent circuit. Now, the 7N equivalent circuit is basically a voltage source with a series resistance. So the goal is to take everything to the left hand side of the terminals A and B and reduce them or, or find an equivalent circuit model that basically says this is A, this is B, this is VT, that's the Thevenin voltage and here's my Thevenin resistance. And our goal is to find out what is VTH and what is RTH. To find out VTH, so to find VTH, okay? so let's take a look. Start out by removing the load. So we have removed the load. Now when the load is removed, so this circuit basically becomes basically becomes the circuit looks like this. Okay. Now our goal is to figure out what is VA. Now this one ohm resistor, this one ohm resistor right here has no connection on one end because we re removed the load. So there's absolutely no current. Current going through there doesn't exist. There's no current through there. So really, this node right here is the same as this node right here. So let's label that node A. So that's node A right there. Now, you can use your favorite circuit analysis technique to find VAB. Now the 7 in voltage is really the voltage seen, uh, open circuit voltage seen at the terminal. So the open circuit voltage here is VAB and that is really the Thevenin voltage so we need to find VAB. Uh, now VA, VAB can be written as uh, VA minus VB. Let's add a, a reference node on B so really we're setting VB to be zero so VAB is equal to VA. Okay. Now we can use nodal analysis to find the value of VA. Since this side of the 32 volt source is at ground, the other side must be 32 volts. Um, let me arbitrarily draw the current. Let me arbitrarily draw the current directions. Okay. So what I have is I'll call this I1 call this I2. What I have is I1 is going into node A, 2 amps is going to node A, and I2 is coming out of that node. So I have I1 plus 2 equals I2. Now I1 is equal to 32 volt minus voltage at node A divided by the 4 ohm resistor plus 2 equals I2. I2 is VA minus 0 divided by 12. Okay. Now what we can do is basically simplify this and that will let's group all A's on one side. So 32 divided by 4 is 8 plus 2 and then the right hand side I have VA 1 over 12 plus 1 over 4 so if I simplify all of this I get VA is equal to 30 volts Now we just said earlier when we started out that VA, this bolt is VA, since it's looking at the open, uh, it's an open uh, terminal voltage, VA is equal to VTH. So VTH is equal to 30 volts. <coughs> now our next task is to find RTH. RTH can be found by zeroing all sources. So in this case we have a voltage source and one current source. 
when we zero a voltage source it essentially means you're shorting it when you zero out a current source it essentially means you are opening it so if you zero all voltage and current source meaning you short the voltage source the circuit will look like and our goal is to figure out what is the resistance seen from the terminals R A and B terminals A and B so this is 1 ohm this is 12 ohms this is 4 ohms the voltage source that was here has been zeroed uh, out so it's been sorted and the current source that was at this location between these two dots right here has been open so now we're left with this particular circuit so what do we have we have a 4 ohm resistor right here 4 ohm resistor right there in uh, parallel to 12 ohms. So we have 4 ohm in parallel to 12 ohms, and all of that is in series with 1 ohm. So what do we get is 4 times 12, 4 plus 12, plus 1. 12 times 4 is 48, 48 divided by 16 is 3, so we get 3 plus 1, so we get 4 ohms. So we have a 7 in resistance of 4 ohms. So the circuit that's shown here, the original circuit that's shown here, the left hand side of terminal AP can be, a, can be represented as an equivalent circuit with a single voltage source of 30 volts and a single resistance in series with that. RTH of 4 ohms.